Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Game of the Max and the start of a new series on the channel, Hearts of Iron for Kaiserite, dun, 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 the United States. So I know we've been talking about uh, uh, playing this as the United States and playing as one of the factions in the American Civil War, and today I decided we will start playing it. So let's jump right in. Um... I will continue the Peru-Bolivian Confederation. We're not done with that. Um, I will say, though, however, uh, on the German East Asia playthrough, um, I could not get my game to load. So I might have to just go back and restart it, which is what I'll probably have to do anyway. So I'll probably be restarting that here in the next little bit, probably after the next major update uh, for... Kaiser Reich. I'll start doing that again. Um, Old War Blues, the Fallout mod for the uh, Hearts of Iron 4, it has also had a major update, so we will go play that after we finish Bolivia and the United States playthrough. Um, and if you're wondering who we're going to be choosing in the American Civil War, it will be the AUS, the American Union States. Um, they're the ones that control the South, and so... Uh, I live in the South, and that was pretty much the reason why I've chose this. If you guys would like to read this, this talks about what's happening in the 1936 uh, America in this timeline. Um, and I'll show you here in the National Spirits. We have the Great Depression, 80% uh, consumer goods factors, negative 25 construction speed, negative 15% production efficiency cap, and negative 50% dockyard output. We have the political crisis going on right now, which is daily political power cost plus one. Um, weekly stability negative 1%. Weekly war support negative 1%. Generate world uh, war goal tension limit plus 100%. Material support tension limit. Su uh, request tension limit for material support. Send volunteers and guarantee tension limits all up 100%. Um, we also hold minor territories in Cuba, which is Guantanamo Bay. Uh, it doesn't actually show that. It just says we have it. And then Fruits of the Open Door, which we get from uh, the legation cities. And that's uh, factory, output, construction speed, and resource gain efficiency plus 5%. So, and this is where we'll be going with is the American First Party. But let's first start our focus which will be reintroduce the garner Va uh, wagner bill uh, so we'll start that we'll go into our research start getting our research going can't remember a hundred percent if uh, the research moves over but hopefully hopefully it does let's see we have the auto ordnance uh, company which is thompson we have browning if colt Remington, Springfield, Western Cartridge, and Winchester Repeating Arms. Owns Connecticut, Massachusetts, Colorado, Massachusetts, Florida, Utah, and Illinois. So we'll probably go with Colt uh, because when we switch over to the AUS, that'll be the only territory we own. And let's do the Army Ordnance Department in Virginia, because again, be the only place we own. And we've got a Battle Line or a Carrier Task Force. And the Refurbishment and Repair Dockyards. I wonder what you guys help with. Uh, well, we won't be doing them anyway, but we will probably do uh, Norfolk. Norfolk, Norfolk, we got the Kaiser Shipyards, New York City, Connecticut, Higgins, Higgins Boats, got some of these guys being built by Higgins. Maybe some uh, being built by Newport News, Newport News, and Higgins. 
hurts the range. Uh, but we won't own San Francisco or Connecticut, so we'll have to do that. Basic airplanes. We won't own Buffalo, Maryland. We won't own Ohio. We can, we can do. Let's see, agility, max speed. I know this isn't very fun to watch me do this right now, but North Rope, ground attack, air attack range production we'll just do bell that's fine medium bombers do lockheed lockheed uh, and we do have some military factories which will be put on support equipment albany massachusetts illinois the american locomotive company up to the top and then probably the trucks and we'll be making by Studebaker alrighty we don't have any rubber but not gonna worry about that now construction again we'll be in the deep south when we uh, leave so let's start out building mostly military factories uh, I know I've got those dockyards in there most definitely want more mill factories than dockyards but we'll also want some dockyards for when the war actually comes missing production yeah not worried about that and then of course our uh, units which I'm not worried about that either all right Let's start out getting this uh, reintroduced the Garner Wagner bill. Uh, market act. Oh, well. Canada wants market access, which they now have. Sorry, the startup took a little bit on this one. There's quite a bit to do on that. Let's see. Be, oh, come on. Let's get up to four times speed. We'll be sitting here forever if we were on once, once, uh, one time speed. Uh, the Garner Wagner bill is reintroduced with assurances made by President Hoover that, unlike in 1932, this time he will not veto the bill. Democratic Senator Robert Wagner and the Speaker of the House, John Nancy Garner, have reintroduced their unemployment relief legislation package. Many in Congress feel that the package does not go nearly far enough, while others wonder how America, in the midst of a massive economic crisis, will possibly ever pay for it. The presence of senators from the AFP and the SPA also compl uh, complicates things immensely. Even with Hoover's pledge, it is unknown if the Garner-Wagner has a real chance of passing. We shall see. We'll most definitely be going with the uh, American first. Assassination of Alexander Kerensky in Russia. Uh, voting rights in the Legation Council. The Legation Cities was formed in 1928. As a result of our intervention in the Zili Fang Tang conflict that was soon going to spill over into open war between two, two other powers in the Far East, Germany and Japan. While we obviously wish to end the conflict, we also found it in our own power to create a lasting solution to the imperial rivalry in China, as well as push our open door policy. So we forced the other powers to merge their concessions in China into one conglomerate, consisting of them all concessions in China, as well as a 30 mile neutral zone in the Legation Cities, officially known as the International Mandate for the Chinese Concessions. Also host a forum, the Legation Council, for the various powers with interest in China to resolve disputes and work together. Naturally, we have a vote on this council, and we are often assigned a factor between the Japanese and Germans, while the secondary powers mostly play second fiddle to us. Our voice is usually one that speaks of keeping the status quo of an open door to China for all powers, which hopefully lets anyone benefit without having to involve themselves with individual Chinese factions. To American cities, the Legation cities... Or, I'm sorry, American citizens, the Legation cities represents not only a great way to get rich, but assign an example of America's forward thinking and our commitment to peace. A perfect arrangement gained 25 political power. Which we'll pretty much lose immediately. So, That looks like 
looks like almost all of our troops have no equipment. Yeah, negative 12,000 rifles. Uh, long and read demand chain. As expected, uh, the early challenges to the Garner Wagner bill have come from the AFP and the SPA. Huey Long and his AFP senators have demanded a vast increase in Social Security provisions that the bill provides, provisions most other senators say America could never afford. Jack Reed and the SPA, meanwhile, say the bill doesn't do enough to protect the average worker, particularly from exploitation by struggling corporations. Both parties have attracted a lot of media attention, added to the general sense of disorder and tension in Congress. Interesting. Very, very, very interesting. Boris Savinkov is uh, assassinated in Russia. So now we have Viktor Chernoff. Social liberal ideas. There's the Totalist Charter. Edward VIII is crowned as King of Great Britain. starting to get negative stability the senators break ranks after weeks of negotiations the number of established senators have broken ranks over the coming vote of the Connor Wagner bill most notably Robert Wagner one of the bill's pers uh, proposers who says he will not vote for the bill unless protections for federal unemployment insurance are Re-added, many other Democrats and Republican senators are concerned about the influence of the AFP and the SPA and claim they will not vote for any bill if any concessions are made to either group. Though they say that not courting either the AFP or the SPA will make the passage difficult if not impossible. President Hoover will need to intervene in order to save the bill, force the established to compromise with the AFP, the SPA, or pledge support to the Wagner and the established senators. Let's uh, compromise with the AFP because that's who we will be join uh, playing as, the American First Party. Viktor Chernoff appointed interim president in Russia. Afghanistan hey, declared war on India. And Black Monday has hit it. Uh, compromise with the AFP. Recent days have resulted in compromise between many established senators and the American First Party, with numerous extra provisions included for farm relief and unemployment protection, though nowhere near as far as the AFP originally demanded. Even so, Huey Long has declared this is a victory and is riding high in the recent polls. Both Jack Reed's SPA and a large number of Republican senators have declared this a betrayal of the American public, however, and have vowed to sink the Garner-Wagner bill when the vote comes. The American First Party greatly gains political power. The Tennessee AFP and North Carolina AFP control will be increased, and we change popularity of national populism plus 4% and market liberalism plus 2%. Black Monday on the 3rd of 1936, the Berlin Stock Exchange stopped sinking. It plunged. That gains world tension increased by 4. And the 5th Anglo-Afghani War increased tension by 1. Electoral gridlock in France. Black Monday hits America. So not only are we hurting from the Great Depression, which is even worse now than it was earlier. Uh, we are now... Oh, I'm sorry. It is, it is worse now, but it is because of Black Monday. Black Monday hits America despite the political turmoil and ineffectual economic relief programs. It has seemed to many as if the economy of the United States might finally be undergoing a slow recovery after the Wall Street, Wall Street crash of 1925. Black Monday has put an end to such hopes and has sounded the death knell for an already alien economy. Uh, Republicans and Democrats have both pledged to fix the economy should they win the election, though public confidence in them is rapidly waning. Both Reed and Long have railed hard against the corrupt banking and political sectors, which they blame for allowing the crash to happen. This is just not our year. Game-based stability, negative 10%. Modify the Great Depression by plus 20 consumer good factors, negative 15 construction speed, negative 5% production efficiency capped, and negative 30% dockyard output. Um, coalition ticket in the 1936 election is looking to be one of the most contentious in American history. Many politicians within the upper circles of the Re Republican Democratic parties fear that a victory by the Socialist Party of America or the America First Party would mean the end of the America of America and the American way of life. In order to avoid this, a plan has been proposed within the halls of power to form a coalition ticket between the Republicans and Democratic parties with the farm labor governor Floyd Olson of Minnesota as a presidential candidate. This plan is unlikely to be popular with low and ranking members of the parties, but it may be the only thing that can prevent the radical parties from gaining strength. 
We can do a coalition if you keep it, negative 200 political power, or a coalition would dis debase the democratic system. So that's what we're going to go with. Let's see, construction, we still build, yeah, I know it's negative 20%. We're building the uh, dockyards a lot faster. Now we need Tennessee for the steel. Tennessee comes with a, a lot of steel, so does Texas just comes with a lot of oil. We need that as well. Crime speed sweeps the nation. American sprawls ever deeper into chaos. There's been a wave of crime throughout the country. Many of these criminals are getting essentialist news stories about their activities, especially gangsters like John Dillon, Dillinger and his scandalous Bonnie and Clyde. Thankfully, the Bureau of Investigation has been working hard to catch these criminals and bring some order back to America. Of course, the AFP and the SBA have begun attributing these crimes to moral decline and robber barons, respectively. Stop right there. Criminal scum. Gain base stability negative 5%. The Austrian Empire withdraws from Italy. Italia. Let's see. The illusion of Queen Hegemony shatters. And in ever so slightly some type of guns. Yeah, our military, our dockyard output is at negative 93%. So reintroduced voting has now begun on the Garner-Wagner bill with Congress divided between the AFP, SBA, and established senators whether or not the bill would pass is anything but certain. But if the bill passes, a question of where its funding will come from will remain without an answer. However, if it fails, council instances will be disastrous and widespread violence can be expected. Uh, the bill passes. And there goes the league. Play. Marshall Wu, Pefu, Bax, and Queen. The chips start to fall. And the Garner Wagner bill passes. So the vote was incredibly close. The Garner Wagner bill has passed Congress. People throughout the United States are celebrating this welcome relief to the country's disastrous economic situation. Though many within the government are wondering how will the bill now be paid for. Victory for us all. We finished the. Uh, Focus, the bill passes, we gain 100 political power, plus 10% stability, and we modify the Great Depression by consumer good factors, negative 30%, construction speed, plus 20%, production efficiency cash, plus 10%, and dockyard output, plus 55%. A victory for us all. So we can do the Berkeley plan. Um, we can ask Canada to repay their uh, debts. Let's start off with the Berkeley plan. We still have to deal with the Great Depression, and we can send some troops over to the legation cities, which we will. Socialist Revolution in Cuba. Dire news has arrived from Cuba today after weeks of instability, and despite providing the Cuban military with ample equipment and training, socialist agitators have overthrown the Cuban government. Worse, many American-owned plantations and other enterprises have been taken over by socialist hooligans. Already, the staff and Marines in our embassy in Havana are running themselves to evacuate at a moment's notice. Something, anything must be done to stop the madness. We will prepare to intervene. The Cuban Socialist Revolution gains opinion of us negative 100%. Let's see what we can do. We cannot sit idly by as American blood is spilled on foreign soil and liberty is extinguished. An embargo has already been declared on Cuban goods and obviously must directly undermine the new Cuban regime but how give clandine support or organize a coup immediately or whispers of a coup japanese troops garrison tangjing it seems that the econ economic woes have gone down hard in the legation cities and they have decided to outsource some of their security operations to the japanese to keep their economy afloat well, there's little we can do to stop them. There's been an uproar in the council over the shifting balance of power and with calls for Japan to not abuse their position in the city. Worrying to say the least. Let's see. You're getting help from the Xin government. You are being helped by the German. Paramilitary militias formed with violence and instability sweeping the country. The AFP and SPA have begun to form various paramilitary militias, which they claim are necessary to protect the people. 
The AFP have called their groups the Minutemen, while the SPA have named their forces the Red Guards. Seen patrolling the stronghold and the party rallies, these well-armed and equipped parallel military units have already engaged and scattered. Through the extremely violent conflicts, we believe the paramilitaries are modifying civilian firearms and the FBI's attempts to siege weapons stockpiles are too slow to stop gunrunners. This could turn very bad very fast. This is not good. Game-based stability, negative 5%. What's happening in White Ruthenia? Oh, the, uh, yeah, the Social Democrats lost power in the authoritarian. Okay. Uh, Farles Charles Cooligan's uh, CBS radio broadcast three years ago today. Farles Charles Cooligan began a weekly radio broadcast in America and now has an audience of over 50 million people. He's a raving anti semite who claims that the syndicalist revolution in France was fomented by the Jew and that the Berlin stock market crash is an international conspiracy of Jewish bankers. And somehow people still tune in. His hate speech will not be tolerated by the church. And the Pope is expecting to make a decision whether to, to ask the United States government to shut down his broadcast so that his hateful message cannot reach the public. We can, uh, the Papal States gains uh, Kulin's broadcast stop, change of opinion by plus 20, plus 20, political power negative 80, and we change the popularity of national populism and that radical socialism plus 5%. Or Haiti says it, but we defend uh, his right to say it. We lose 2% stability. Uh, our opinions from the Papal States is negative 5%, but national populism and radical socialism is... Uh, Changed by three percent, respectively, for both. I said we just shut it down. It doesn't really matter about the political power anyway, because we're losing it, and we gain more popularity for our national populism. Restoration of democracy in Australasia. Let's say Germany has probably sent. Uh, Plutarco Elias Kelles proclaimed Maximato. Oh, and the Cuban coup secedes, or coup in Cuba has seceded, and a new government led by uh, General Martin Diaz has been established. Diaz, however, despite our benevolence towards him, has refused to turn land owned by American citizens and companies which were unjustly seized by the socialists. Well, this is obvious a betrayal. It may be best to drop the issue and accept the monetary compensation Cuba has offered instead. With Diaz as the helm, Cuba will surely be stable and respective to our diplomatic endeavors, what should we be done? Um, restore diplomatic relations or pressure him to accept? We'll just restore diplomatic relations. So we have Martin Diaz, paternal autocrats, Pope, or the death of Pius XI, Sylvia Punkerhurst, elected chairman of the TUC, Got one of them dockyards built. More AFP members announcing congressional bids. While there have been a number of lawmakers from the American First Party in its brief life, particularly in the South, the 1936 election has seen an unprecedented number of people registering to run for office under the banner of the AFP, and just as many, if not more, ways and ride pledging to vote for them. Change popularity of authoritarian democracy, paternal autocracy, and national populism plus two percent. And the American First Party gains political power and their control in Louisiana, New Orleans, Oklahoma, North Texas, Texas, Arkansas, Mississippi, Alabama, South Carolina, Georgia, and Florida will all be increased. St. Patrick's Day flood, flood on March 16, 1936, warmer than uh, usual temperatures led to the melting of large amounts of snow and ice on the upper Allegheny and Monongahela rivers the rivers and their ter uh, tributaries are had already overflowed their banks and were soon threatening the city of pittsburgh's or pittsburgh on march 17 1936 the waters reached the flood stage of 25 feet then overnight heavy rain caused the water to rise even higher and on march 18th the water peaked at about 46 feet 21 feet above the flood stage this is the worst such disaster in the city's history and local authorities have already requested federal aid we must help the people lose political power and 20 manpower Get the Parkley Plan. The Ninth International Congress. We cannot declare wars and we cannot join factions. Double dip recession.
order restored, military steps in, and then suspend the constitution. Fuel store is researched. Let's get the M1919 Browning MG and Stokes motor. So we'll go with the Colt. Yes, Mechanized cavalry, some light tanks. Uh, increasing radicalization with the Democrats and Republicans fighting among themselves. As usual, more and more Americans are feeling alienated from the traditional big two and are flocking to the radical AFP and SPA throughout the country. In these dark times, the distinction between general social reform and graft is hard to distinguish. Those under the radical banner and their political enclaves have received some social welfare. Share our wealth donations from the AFP and the inter international red aid from the SPA. The party machine in these radical utilizes mass media to a much stronger degree than either the Republicans or Democrats, it is looking more and more like the 1936 election will come down to read or long. This is really bad. Game-based stability, negative 15%. Uh, change in popularity of totalism, cynicalism, radical socialism, authoritarian democracy, paternal autocracy, and national populism by 3% respectively. Uh, the American First and the Socialist Party of America gains political powers, but the... Uh, Tennessee and South Texas AFP, AFP control will be increased, and New Jersey and Iowa SPA control will be increased. They say it's bad. It's, it's not the worst. Famine breaks out in Sichuan. We've got some military factories. We'll just put them all in guns. The Barkley Plan. The Barkley Plan. Elvin Barkley, Democratic and Junior Senator for Kentucky, has introduced a bill which will see the relief efforts largely funded by taxpaying American corporations in exchange for hefty tax considerations down the line once the economy is recovered. This has caused some considerable controversy in some corners, especially among the AFP and SPA supporters. Others say it would be far too easy for the next government to reverse the decision, leaving the corporations holding the bag even worse off than they were before. Regardless, there is enough to support to see the bill pass, and as an added bonus, the agency to coordinate the efforts could be placed in either Minneapolis or in Charlotte, with the added bonus of employment weakening what are AFP and SPA strongholds. If we base it in Minneapolis, the American First Party gains political power, and the Socialist Party of America loses it, while North Carolina AFP control will be increased and Minnesota's will be reduced for the Socialists. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. We'll also do the new Industrial Act, so change the popularity of market liberalism plus 5%, negative 50 political power, and we get the new Industrial Act. Kurt Von Schleichler is appointed Reich Chancellor in the 1936 Stanley Cup. Two teams have made it to the 1936 Stanley Cup Finals, the Toronto Maple Leafs making their sixth appearance, and the Detroit Red Wings making their second appearance and still hungry to win their first cup. With only a brief interruption at the first game in Detroit with demonstrations by the Socialist Party of America disrupting proceedings outside the stadium, the series has gone off without a hitch and captivated audiences in both countries who will take home the cup this year. Come on, Detroit. Republican Revolution in Iran. And Detroit wins the Stanley Cup. The Detroit Red Wings have slept the Toronto Maple Leafs for the Stanley Cup, giving the Red Wings the Stanley Cup for the first time. The games were held during a time of great unrest, but for a day the people went weren't riding over political differences, they were rooting over the championship. Stanley is back in hockey town. Woohoo. Look at that beautiful negative one hundred and forty political power. Hopefully Germany will go with the DVLP instead of the Cabinet Schleichler, but I doubt they will. Uh, more SPA members announcing congressional bids while there have been a number of lawmakers from the Socialist Party of America in the past few decades, particularly in the Steel Belt. The 1936 election have seen an unprecedented number of people registering to run for office under the banner of the SPA, and just as many, if not more, in nationwide pledging to vote for them. Change the popularity of totalism, cynicalism, and radical socialism plus 2%. They, the Socialist Party gains political power, and Illinois, Wisconsin, Michigan, Ohio, West Virginia, Pittsburgh, and Philadelphia SBA control will be increased. Interesting. A uh, special election in Washington following the death of Senator Wesley Lloyd. A special election has been called in Washington to fill his seat. The frontrunners are SBA activist John F. McKay and Democratic Congressman John Maine Calfee. 
polls have just closed and the winner appears to be John Maine Coffey, the Democratic Party, change in popularity of socialism plus 2%, and the Socialist Party of America loses political power. Special election in New Jersey following Senator A. Harry Moore's resignation in order to run for governor. A special election has been called in New Jersey to select his replacement. The front runners are Democrat John Gerald Milton and the AFP spokesman Charlie Lindenberg. Polls have just closed and the winner will be Charles Lindenberg. American First Party gains political power and we gain national, uh, popularity of national populism plus 2%. And yes, that is the Charles Lindenberg, the famous pilot. Probably get these dockyards done before we get those military factories done. Let's see. Just keep on building. We got 20 more days for the new Industrial Act. The May Day riots, May Day International Workers Day cause. And Queen was annexed. Uh, this is a holiday that the Socialist Party celebrates with numerous parades and speeches, and since its founding, generally things are peaceful, though they have been confrontations with the police. However, this time things are more violent than normal. Clashes between socialists and local police, backed up by the AFP, have occurred around the country. The question is who is at fault? The socialists declared that things were peaceful to the police, and the AFP goons arrived on the scene. The AFP is saying that the socialists began by assaulting ununionized workers and have blurry photos they claim are guns the SPA were brandishing. If we say the SPA were at fault, change in popularity for cynicism and national populism, plus 2%, and the Socialist Party gains political power in, uh, they also gain control in Iowa and Minnesota. If we say the police were at fault, we'll lose three stability and negative 40 political power. I don't really want them to gain political power, but I also don't want to keep going into more debt for political power. And it does help with national populism too. Ah, we'll just, we'll do that. We're at negative 80, one, I'm sorry, negative 180 political power. Panama pressures Costa Rica. The Panamanians have begun a small-scale military assault on the Cota region of Costa Rica, which they have had a claim on for some time. We should threaten intervention to prevent this turning into a full-scale war. Let us intervene. It's like, quiet down. Pipe it down. Panama backs down after hearing of American support for Costa Rica and not wanting to escalate the situation into full-blown conflict. The forces of Panama have begun to back down across the region. This is a victory for American diplomacy abroad. The Monroe Doctrine stands. Yeah, it does. Farm labor flocks to the SBA. Minnesota, which has been a, a long been a bastion for the farm labor governor Floyd Olson, has finally flipped. Many people are turned away from the governor Olson on the direction of the IWW or IWW and the SBA. Various unions have held rallies for the SBA, and attendance far outstrips our ability to outshove them. Uh, change in popularity of social democracy negative three percent. Change in popularity of total totalism, cynicalism, and radical socialism plus three percent. The Socialist Party gains political power and their control in Minnesota and Iowa is increased. Is it something in the water? Disperse Industries 1. We're making a total of 11 guns a day. It's pretty good if you ask me. The new Industrial Act, as an offshoot of the Barclay Plan relief efforts, will need, will see new industrial growth in several vital areas, prominently in the military sector. Some of these new com companies are planned for Denver, Colorado. At least one of these areas can be promoted 
and the cabinet believes that putting them in depressed areas which are currently strongholds of the AFP or the SPA may see their influence in those areas drastically weakened. If we move it to uh, Tennessee, we will have one military factory in Colorado and a military factory and civilian factory in Tennessee. Socialist Party gains political power. America First loses political power. Our, uh, Tennessee's AFP control will be reduced, and Minnesota's SPA and Iowa's SPA control will be increased. Or we promote it in Iowa. Still, Colorado gets the military factory, but this time Iowa gets the military civilian factory. America First gains political power, and Tennessee's AFP control will be increased, while the Socialist Party loses political power, and their control in Iowa will be reduced. So let's do it in Iowa. Let's finish it up with the shipyard funding scheme. So another 42 days. All this time we're just building up our strongholds down here. Okay, let's build some civilian factories while we're at it. One good fuel silo. The death of Big Bill Hayward. Today, one of the titans of the industrial workers of the world, William Big Bill Hayward, has passed away. His death marks the passing of a torch. Elizabeth Gurley Flynn spoke at his funeral, saying that history has a large range perspective, is ultimately passed a stern judgment on tyrants and vindicates those who fight, suffered, were imprisoned, and died for human freedom against political oppression and economic slavery. Many other leaders within the various union organizations, including his rival in the AFL, also spoke at his funeral, as well as leaders within the Socialist Party of America. Jack Reed also spoke at his funeral, ending his speech with some of Hayward's quotes. If the workers are organized, all they have to do is to put their hands in their pockets, and they have got the capitalist class whipped. A strike is an incipient revolution. Many large revolutions have grown out of small strikes. Remember that you are fighting more than your own fight. You are fighting for the entire working class, and you must stand together. The I already miss him, change the popularity of syndicalism, plus 3%. Manuel Carlos assumes full control in Argentina. Uh, the Legation Council votes on providing aid to the Sichuan province. The southern Chinese province of Sichuan has currently experienced a terrible famine and is struggling to save its people. They have requested the Legation Council authorize the Legation cities to help them open up new sources of grain until the land can recover. Many experts on Chinese politics have warned that the money we send them for famine relief could go directly into the Sichuanese warlord's pockets. I will approve the motion. The Southern Democrats voters align with the AFP. The South has long been considered the heartland for the Democratic Party, but this may not be the case for much longer as polls show a massive spike in voter registration for the AFP. On radio broadcast, Huey Long spoke at length about share our wealth and his plans for America. It seems that the AFP is growing stronger by the day. What a devious con men. Change in popularity of social conservative, minus 3%. Change in popularity for authoritarian democracy, paternal autocracy, and national populism, plus 3%. Uh, the American First Party gains political power, and our southern Texas and North Carolina AFP control will be increased. Well, that's quite rude to say about him that he's a con man. And we got radio research, which I will say I don't, I don't really believe in his share of the wealth program, but the vote passes in the legation council. Radios. Radar station level ones are usually quite bad. Some small caliber ar semi armor piercing shells. Democratic coalition in Algiers. So you still have the French Republic under Henry Mordock. And Germany looks like it will be sticking with the Schleichler cabinet, which is quite annoying. The great heat wave of 36, as a heat wave has struck the continent of the United States and Canada, the most severe heat wave in the modern history of North America. The great heat wave started in late June and went up to over 100 degrees as drought conditions worsened due to continued lack of rain. Now in July, the heat has reached all-time records. In Steel, North Dakota, temperatures have reached 121 degrees Fahrenheit. 
In Ohio, temperature has reached 110, and which was close to tying a high record set in 1934. This comes in a time of major political unrest with the American First Council, a majority force in Midwest politics, and socialist and syndicalist forces gathering strengths in the Great Lakes region. The drought is continuing, and over 3,000 reported dead have been linked to it. Many people are suffering from heat strokes and heat exhaustion. Farmers across the continent saw their worst harvest on record, causing corn and wheat prices to skyrocket, and this heat wave does not seem to be giving up anytime soon. This just isn't our year. Gain base stability minus 5%. Yeah, most definitely is not America's year. Another military factory. Uh, the Legation City voting bailout. Black Monday has left deep scars in the global economy, in particular on the Deutsche Azetische Bank in Shanghai, which seems to have fallen victim to unscrupulous business practices and possibly insider trading. Our delegations are now seeking guidance on how they should vote concerning the proposed bailout of the DAB. Approve it. Might as well. Uh, start getting some artillery, videos, videos, planes, and planes. There we go. We got some PBYs. Zang is driven from Japan. So now let's see. We got Nanjing fighting against the Minging insurgency. And I'm guessing, yeah, you guys have volunteers from legation cities and Germany, East Asia. Dominion of Canada declared war on South Africa, or the People's Union of South Africa. The second RAND rebellion, South Africa's industrial base of RAND. Oh, there's quite a bit of stuff happening. The collapse of the United Baltic Duchies, the coup d'etat in Siam, and the second RAND rebellion. Uh, the Red Hydra reached the Dark Continent. One uh, world tension increased by one. Construction one. Let's do some synthetic oil. Some refineries. The vote passes. It's the German bank. Yes, Template. Wow, our National Guard divisions are huge. Ooh. All right. Ship funding scheme. The Barclay plan has led to two major shipbuilding companies vying for a federal contract, one in New York City and the other in Corpus Christi. Both would mean a large number of jobs in the area and would be a boon for our control in the region. The problem is the word of the contract have gotten out, and whichever city we don't choose will likely be enraged, giving in strength the AFP or the SPA in the region. If we give it to New York, New York City gets two naval dockyards. The Socialist Party loses uh, political power, but the American First greatly gains political power. Um... And the Southern Texas AFP will be increased, while New York City's SPA control will be reduced. So let's do that one. Give it to New York City. The Red Summer. The summer heat has turned into violence and blooded cities, starting with Charleston, South Carolina. Throughout the country, engaged in bloody racial riots as whites beat up blacks and blacked, uh, and burned black businesses. The number of lynchings that occurred throughout the country spiked during the summer. In response, the African Blood Brotherhood and other elements of the SPA and SCSA have begun arming and fighting back. The Socialist Party of America have defended their actions and have furnished blurry photos they claim showing AFP members in lynching mobs. Bob, can this year get any worse? Gain base stability negative 10%, uh, negative 20 political power, and lose 180 manpower. So we've done that. We can ask Canada to repay their debts. do the War Department expansion, which we will do. Then we'll probably ask Canada for their debt. Gone with the Wind. Today, Margaret Mitchell's published novel, Gone with the Wing, which immediately became a bestseller and may be nominated for the next Pulitzer Prize. Even Hollywood is taking notice and is planning a film adaptation to be released next year. Set in the Old South during the American Civil War, many see it as an analogy for the strained political situation in the United States. Many American first Southerners claim the novel supports their cause. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Change in popularity of national populism plus one percent, and change in uh, and give me or gives plus twenty political power. Well, I guess it does give me political power. But. Fourth of July, America has a brief period of calm today with most peaceful Independence Day celebration, commemorating the signing of the Declaration of Independence in 1776 by the Second Continental Congress on the eve of the American Revolutionary War. The holiday is one of the great importance to the American people. 
While many were worried that the rise in tensions in America would result in yet another bout of violence in the long and brutal election season, many sought a breath of relief today as the news reported little brawling during the annual celebration. While all the major candidates made sure to be seen and photographed among the large crowds and delivered speeches connecting their respective causes to the situation in 1776, most Americans took the time to take a break from the intense politics plaguing in America. Instead, they decided just to spend time with their families and friends amidst picnics and fireworks. It seems for a brief moment that America had finally received something it lacked for a very long time, unity. A, res a respite from the chaos, plus five political power. Now we're at only negative 265. Our stability is also negative 67 right now. MacArthur speaks to Hoover. MacArthur has spoken to uh, President Hoover privately about a contingency plan called War Plan White, a military plan for dealing with possible armed uprising of a U.S. citizen. This plan would call on MacArthur to take emergency action to prevent the country, to protect the country, and re erect old barricades in Washington, D.C. The plan can be engaged even from outside Washington, D.C. at the Washington Arsenal. While the plan has obviously not been made public, we are at least have it as a contingency if the radicals enact one of their revolutions from within the government. Let us hope this is not needed. Gain base stability negative 5% and political power plus 30. Yeah, well, MacArthur can kiss my hind end. Craig in charge. Patton. Research the interwar artillery. We're at twenty two percent, Republicans are at twenty two percent. Creation of the uh, International Avant Garde, or Garde, I believe. See the status of the U.S. Army. We get War Department ex uh, expanded, which grants Army experience gain plus 10%. Liberia asks for aid. The Liberian government, crippled by the effects of black money on top of their overwhelming national debt, have sent an envoy requesting the American government assist them with the bailout. We have our own issues to deal with, but the amount they desperately need is small by comparison and will guarantee us a continued ally in Africa. How shall we respond? Of course, we'll help. Uh, gets event the United States agrees. Lose 20 political power, and they, our opinions of them change by plus 20. Yeah, we will. Library. Sam Steele. Yeah. Let's see. Navy. We've got that research. Siam declared war on parliamentarian Siam. Let's get better torpedoes resort research. And we might as well do them with Higgins. The status of the United States Army, uh, status of the U.S. Army, the def uh, defense of the United States has always been an uphill battle, stretched in against the vast uh, breadth of the North American continent. The United States Army has had little chance to distinguish itself through the, throughout its 160 years history. It won bare minimum victories to maintain American independence during the Revolution of the War of 1812. It performed admirably against the corrupt regime in the Mexican-American War, but half of those forces would proceed the seed of the fledgling Confederate Army during the ensuing Civil War. More recently, the Army formed barely adequate to subdue the heavily outgunned Spanish and struggled to suppress the half-starved Filipino insurrection more than 30 years ago. Uh, prevented from joining in the Veldt's Creek on either side, it has suffered in both doctrine and technology with very few tanks and a small air corps subsidiary to the ground forces. With the hobbled line that was the British Empire on the northern frontier and a citadel of stronghold poised in the south, the U.S. Army has been asked to defend the Republic from the enemies within and without, and few agree that they are up to the task. They will have to suffice. Well, we can come over here, do the demand of war payments from Canada. Soft attacker liability. See if Canada agrees to pay, which so they, they probably won't. 
the Borotet Rebellion. Battle of the Overpass in Detroit, Michigan, the automotive capital of the world. Walter Rothu and Richard Frankenstein, leaders of the United Auto Workers Association, called a general strike against the Ford Motor Company and pro uh, proclaimed themselves unionism, not Fordism, demanding higher pay and fewer hours for automotive workers. At 2 p.m. today, a photographer from the Detroit Free Press asked to take a photo of the leaders of the UAW standing on the Overpass with the Ford sign in the background. While they were posing, a group of 40 men from the Ford Service Department approached them from behind and began to beat them with their batons. The group then continued their attack on some of the beret wearing women pr uh, present to pass out leaflets. This will hurt us more than it will hurt the unionists. Gain base stability negative 5%. Good old Ford runs in to ruin the day. Violence reaches the political theater. For some time, the violence has mostly been between the supporters of the radical parties. However, recently, the violence is now reaching the candidates and politicians themselves. Failed attempts on the lives of both Huey Long and Jack Reed have occurred in the past few months. Both gunmen shooting from a crowd, both failed, and both resulted in higher security. Several more local politicians have been stabbed during the campaign rally. Moreover, voters from both extremes are turning a blind eye to the violence due to their enemies. Uh, political power, negative 20. Manpower, negative 20. Radicalist Buddhists take Mongolia, and German East Asia declares war on Indochina. There's a military coup in Japan in the 1936 Dublin Olympics, plus Indochina declares independence. They're surely not model colonial subjects, and I think we won the most. Yeah, German and American athletes have seen the most success, closely tied with 27 and 26 medals. The Irish athletes have performed above average 29. Good job, Ireland. The Zveno coup in Bulgaria, uh, which is the national populist coup. Oh no, it's the paternal autocrat coup. My apologies. Let's see, Huey Long and the American First Party used to be only authoritarian Democrat, but now they're actually national populists. Huey Long speaks, the Democratic Party and the Republican Party were just like the old patent medical drummer that used to come around our, our county. He had two bottles of medicine. He'd play the banjo and he'd sell two bottles of medicine. One of those bottles of medicine was called High Poplorium, and another one of those bottles of medicine was called Low Poplorium. Finally, someone around there and, and said, Is there any difference between these two bottles of or these bottles of medicines? Oh, he said, Conservatively. They're both good, but they're different. He said, The High Poplarium has made from the bark of the tree that we take from the top down, and a Low Poplarium is made from the bark that we take from the root up. And the only difference that I found between the Democratic leadership and the Republican leadership was that one of them was skinning you from the ankle and the up and the other from the ear down when I got to Congress. Humbly sayings do not win elections. Change in popularity of national populism plus 3% and the American First Party gains political power. No, but I liked the analogy, so... Deal with the Great Depression. You got 59 days. We will not be able to probably do that. So we'll ask for this, and then we will probably do compromise. The Great Heat Wave is over. People from Vancouver and Los Angeles to New York and Washington, D.C. let out a sigh of relief as the Great Heat Wave of 1936 finally came to an end, and now a cold front has spread out over North America. It has come to be known as the United States' deadliest natural disaster of the 20th century, with an estimated death toll reaching 5,000. But even though the heat wave ends, a new chapter in American history is about to begin. begin. At least it's over. Came plus 5% stability. Uh, representatives retiring, many Republican and Democratic representatives have announced that this year will be their last year in Congress. While many retirees claim old age motivated them, rumors of gangs or gang intimidation by the SPA and AFP congressmen remind many of the congressional brawl between Charles Sumner and Preston Brooks. The unprecedented rate of their retirement has given hopes to the AFP and SPA that they can win these open elections. Let's hope they get good replacements. Change popularity of social democracy, social liberalism, market liberalism, and social conservative, negative 3%.
respectively for all of them. Hopefully we will see Belgian Declaration of Independence. That's not what we're hoping to see. Uh, Jabal, Shamar, Declared War on Dodge, and Hassa. We're actually hoping to see whatever words I'm trying to think of right now. Oh, there's the debt. We'll just reconcile with Canada. Canada refuses, of course. The Canadian government responds to the demand that with a flat refusal. The debt, they say, was never meant to be paid until the home islands were taken. And most was incurred by the United Kingdom, a government which is now in exile. Even so, the refusal has done its job and fired up the isolation elements of the American government. President Hoover's government has the support it needs at the cost of relations with the Canadians. Political power gain, or political power plus 100. Game-based war support plus 10%. And change of population market levels plus 5%. Let's see if they want to be friends again they're like hi Canada we're friends the Congress of Errol Belgium returns to the world stage probably under uh, King Albert the first uh, the Germans have been diplomatically isolated in Brussels since the Belgians kicked out the German monarch and garrisons in the Belgian Revolution. The latest steps have been to the High Commission of Legation Cities. I'm just going to abstain. I don't really care what they do with Belgium and the Legation Council. I will say I need to switch out these National Guard units. The violence between the SPA and the AFP. In a number of major cities, conflicts between the supporters of the American First Party and the Socialist Party have broken out in violence. Partisans fist fight and even sh uh, shootouts are starting to become a regular occurrence throughout the nation as the country spirals ever deeper into chaos. While public er eruptions are easy to counter, the enclaves these radicals have cut out of the city blocks run on graft are harder to stop. Amidst the chaos, moderate elements of the country have grown fearful of the extremist factions and the beleaguered establishment campaigns have seen a wave of donations and volunteers. Both Landon and Garner have made promises to reverse depression and bring back order, and Governor Olson has launched an aggressive counterattack to reclaim his supporters. However, as the country groans under the weight of economic depression and political instability, many fear the political system they put their trust in for decades will soon give out. Uh, Game-based stability, negative 5%. Change in popularity for social conservatism, market liberalism, social liberalism, and social democracy plus 3%. The American First and the Socialist Party loses political power. And Tennessee and South Southern Texas AFP control will be reduced. And Minnesota and Iowa SBA control will be reduced as well. This is just not our year. Hopefully this won't be enough of a difference. Uh, the Yunnan click falls into a civil war. Vote fails. Interesting. Radicals win the Serbian elections. We'll get a couple of these uh, civilian factories built down here in the south. Then hopefully they'll move on to everything else. These are these mill factories down here. And the two dockyards in southern Texas. Uh, Serbia or Greece joins the Belgrade Pact and Romania. Foundation of the Belgrade Pact, or Belgrade Pact. Uh, November, so next month is our election here in the United States. Sit here and we'll reconcile with Canada. Let's see, just a few more days, and then we won't have anything we can do anyway, so we can just let the time tick, see if we can get some political power. Canada agrees to the compromise, the Canadian government has reluctantly agreed to the compromise, giving us the, or give us more of a payment they can now, and accepting the deferments until the home islands have been retaken in exchange. 
A trading agreement has been put in place with the Entente, something that will likely benefit for all of us. The main downside is that the agreement has been viewed as treachery by the AFP and the SPA, both of which claim our corrupt government has betrayed the very people they fired up only moments before. We'll take what we can get, gain plus 200 political power. Uh, Socialist Party of America and America First gains political power. Southern Texas AFP control will be increased and New Jersey SPA control will be increased. Uh, Canada loses demanded war debt repayment and our trade relations with all of them are exchanged by plus 50. We'll take what we can get. And we can do the U.S. Navy. I think that's the only thing we can do. So we'll do that real quick. U.S. Navy. Mustafa Kamal seizes power in the Ottoman Empire. Not sure which time, what date of the election is. Right now, the 37 millimeter Model 3. Uh, the results are finally in from what was probably been the most ideological contested presidential election the United States has ever witnessed. None of the four major parties have secured enough votes in the Electoral College to outwin outright win the presidency. And as a result, the House of Representatives has to vote on the winner of the election for the second time this decade. This is probably not the end of our problems, but the first time being victory goes to Huey Long, comes later the Nationalist Populist Party. We get the Kingfish, political advisors cost negative 33%. And our military industrial organization cost is negative 33%, plus our industrial concern cost is negative 33%. America First becomes the ruling party and change the popularity of national populism plus 20%. Oh, there we go. The black, uh, black, white, and red government in Germany. So they have actually went with the way that I wanted them to. Awesome. Kleis Schimmens. Well, they should like us even more now, All right? Yeah, you like us enough. Zupid secures power in Yunnan. Wasn't the defeat a decade ago long enough? A uh, decade ago enough to dissuade them. Um, the SPA contests the election's results. Member of the Socialist Parties. Of America have refused to accept these results of our free and fair elections, claiming that the House of Representative Systems has subverted the will of the majority. Jack Reed has said as much and called the whole of Congress reactionary for this injustice. Independent newspapers reported tips from the inside. The SPA have reported that the AFL are beginning to show cracks in their solidarity with Reed, however. Damn, Reed gained base stability negative 5%. Uh, and SPA control in Illinois, Wisconsin, Indiana, Michigan, Ohio, West Virginia, Pittsburgh, and Philadelphia is increased. There's interwar artillery. Oops. Do the. Uh, radio detection. Kingdom of Spain declared war. There's the Spanish Civil War. It was inevitable. Uh, plus five wall tension. Or wall tension is increased by five. Should get this civilian factory. I'm hoping to get most of these done before the Civil War. Totalists in the Baradia Commune. And then Hoover criticizes the president. Herbert Hoover has been vocal after the election and openly criticizes Long and the American First as being a dangerous choice for the country. However, or Hoover has encouraged both the Republicans and Democrats to form an alliance to keep Long in check. He doesn't matter anymore. Uh, political power minus 20. And of course, Totalist and the Brody and Commune. You're right. He most definitely does not matter anymore. Uh, he was a pretty horrible president. <laughs> There's Huey Long from Louisiana. So our industrial concern is much cheaper. Bethlehem. Very nice.
better torpedoes. Do bomb size and research speed. See Higgins. The status of the US Navy uh the status of the U.S. Navy, the, law, the United States Navy, along with the darling child of the American Defense Establishment, has been a strong force in global maritime affairs for nearly 50 years. Arrival even to the vaunted Kajalik Marine and Royal Navy at their heights in the Veldskrieg, it has defended American shores and sailed forth to spread stability and democracy for nigh on 160 years. From John Paul Jones' raids on the British mainland to the Battle of Manila Bay, the Navy has provided the security needed to, by the Republic for those that we would infringe upon our independence from beyond the seas. All is not well in the modern day, however. The Navy ships are old. Her flagship, Veldt's Creek era dreadnoughts, even as Germany and the Syndicalists engage in a new naval arm race, and the town and remnants of the Royal Navy lick their wounds. The new dreadnoughts have been com uh, commissioned at the suggestion of a Senator Benjamin Til Tillman, along with many projects of the 20s converted to aircraft carriers due to the Great Depression. But the no Navy is nowhere near ready to take on the Imperial Japanese fleet. The Marine Corps far is better, hardened as they are by constant action in tropical locals. But they are small, only a few regiments strong, and powerless to affect increasing tensions at home from their far-flung island bases. The Honor Guard in Washington, D.C. looks incredibly powerless as violence in the nation's capitals increases. Our white ships might dominate the waves, but many question whether it will be enough to face the gathering storm on the horizon. Semper Fortis. Subdetection patrol efficiency. Let's do anti-air defenses. Army ordnance. Details. Do that. Toad artillery or toad anti-tank, toad anti-air, soft attack plus ten percent. So at some point we will have enough. Hopefully these boats are built. Build the P-36As instead of the P-35 Cs or whatever it was. The Dominion of Canada and South African People Union ended their hostilities. The South African People Union joins the Third International. If you're wondering why I'm not doing any focuses right now, it's because I do not have any open to me. Hetman Skorpaninsky flees Ukraine. Italian democracy survives. We need one more focus. Prince of the Federation declared war on Mysore. Then the Prince of the Federation declared war on Travancore. New Year's Day strike. In protest of the election results, the SPA has launched a strike on New Year's, uh, on New Year's Day, which has crippled the industries of the North. Councils of trade unions and councils of professional workers have been set up to run the, city, the cities of the steel belts during the strike. The Hearst newspapers have uh, are demonized this strike, portraying it similar to the general strikes that set off the British Revolution. This is going to cause a problem, gain base stability negative 5%, and adds New York strike, which gain, grants recruitable population factor negative 20%, production efficiency cap negative 17%, and factory output negative 17%. Ouch. There's the general strike. And the Prince of Federation declared war on Madras. Hopefully we build up this dockyard and the rest. And we do have that fuel silo down here now. Nationalist coup in Bolivia. The Zhuzang click erupts in war. Surprise, Peru and Bolivia haven't reformed. Then the Chicago boys. America first. Which everybody has sent volunteers to the Kingdom of Spain. Long's inaugural address, the country's social problems have forced the American people to turn to radical solutions. The two-party system has broken down, and Huey P. Long is to be sworn in as the 31st President of the United States with William Lecky 
being sworn in as vice president. In a stirring speech in Washington, D.C., Long has pledged to defend the interests of the people and to put the interests of the regular American above anyone else. However, the AFP's slim majority in Congress means that it may find it challenging to pass meaningful legislation, especially in the Senate where the SPA senators have promised to filibuster any law they see as detrimental to America. God bless America. Uh, activates mission. Act quickly. United States of America completes focus. President Long. The Louisiana, New Orleans, Oklahoma, North Texas, Arkansas, Mississippi, Alabama, South Carolina, Georgia, and Florida AFP control will be increased. Finished out Huey Long. And we have two choices. We can pass the relief bill. Long's first priority must be to offer relief to the numerous unemployed Americans oppressed by the Great Depression, even if it must be delivered via presidential executive order. The relief bill is the first step in implementing the Share Our Wealth program. Or fight the anarchists. Long's dream of sharing the wealth cannot be achieved so long as the SPA has a chokehold on American labor with the general strike ongoing since the beginning of the year. They must be brought down before America could live. Uh, I would like to do the share our wealth, but I'm going to do declare the SPA as traitors. And Long bans the SPA from Congress. In a fiery speech, President Long has declared that his intent our intended reforms would have to wait. Of far more pressing importance was, was the SPA and its insidious influence over America. The ongoing New Year's strike is its doing, and it's America's number one public enemy. An executive order banning the SBA from Congress named the Minutemen as acting with emergency invested authority as exe uh, ex executors of the president's will. While some in the halls of power are relieved to see actions being taken against the SBA, many more are alarmed by President Long's use of executive power. So must it be. America first greatly gains political power. And Southern Texas, North Carolina, Tennessee, Florida, Georgia, South Carolina, Alabama, Mississippi, Arkansas, Northern Texas, Oklahoma, New Orleans, and Louisiana, AFP control is increased. Say that 10 times fast, and you'll be tongue-tied all to pieces. So we got to act quickly, pass the relief bill, or fight the anarchists. The main gang insurgency was annexed, so that means the... Um, League of the Southeast Provinces is formed... Looks like Royalist uh, Siam is being beat. We got some free civilian factories. There it is. Executive Order 7050 declared the SPA traitors, or terrorists, not traitors, terrorists, which I mean, I guess they would be also traitors at the point. Signing national concerns due to the anarchist nature of the Socialist Party of America, Huey Long has passed an executive order that has declared them an illegal organization which seeks to overthrow the country, and as such, all forces shall be opposed, uh, used to oppose them. Long has drawn a direct comparison between the SBA militias and a terrorist attack that occurred on the Preparedness Day in 1916 and Wall Street in 1920. The militias are now subject to the Sedition Act of 1918 and are perse prosecuted as an anti-recruitment and vigilante group. Uh, excellent. The Socialist Party of America greatly loses political power. New Jersey, New York, and Iowa SBA control will be reduced. Awesome. You might be like, hey Max, why are you putting so much dockyards down? Well, to be honest, when the war actually comes about, um, we will not have the largest of the navies. We'll actually have the smallest of the navies. And they'll naval invade me to pieces. So we did fight the anarchists. Would have loved to do the past the relief bill, but this is that's fine. Jack Reed has publicly announced Executive Order 7050 unconstitutional and an act that would provoke the country's workers against Long. Reed has organized large rallies and protests against them with the Red Guards there too to keep the workers safe from the Minutemen. He's highly reported on protests of seeing Union scabs beaten without interference from the police, which calls into question Long's ability to protect Americans. Rely on the police to keep control. Illinois, Wisconsin, Indiana, Michigan, Ohio, West Virginia, Pittsburgh, and Philadelphia's SBA control will be increased. All right. Well, I'm going to end episode one here. I hope you all have enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye.